and away we go, the grand final. Back to back for the Cats. What can the Hawks pull off an upset? A free kick to Geelong against uh, Osborne's attack on Mackey. Ah. So Corey almost got overdue. Bateman. Brown, terrific half volley. Now to Osborne. To Bateman, hard running. Can kick a goal. 49 out. Low, straight. Abusing. Took the chance and scored. Center of the ground. There it is there. Bateman gets it in board, and what they're able to do is keep the run alive. The Geelong players did not take a body out, which allowed their players to run forward and receive it 1-2. Oh, that's a great piece of play. Good team play by Hawthorne. I think it could be dangerous. Well, they won't get the ball to him. Rioli steals the hand pass away from Mooney. Storms up towards the wing. Emerges from the shadows. Look at him go. Down towards left half forward. Brown, 60 metres out. Bacon square. He has to hesitate then. Pulls it across the ground. Ellis. Xavier Ellis directly in front. Kicks from 40. And gives Hawthorne the lead. Cat's player was zoning back into space, but uh, it got across to Ellis. As you see here, Rioli just maintained his composure, and even then looked like he was going to kick it and then used the free target in Brown. Brown was going to go long, and that squeezed off the side of his boot fortuitously to Ellis, and Corey was uh, actually going back to support in the goal square, was uh, exposed. Franklin on the move with the run, Scarlett. Fists it away. Franklin, the better recovery. Mitchell, run down brilliantly by Kelly. Rioli sides away through, pulls it back to full forward. Big bodies down there in front. A chance for the Hawks. Williams, Ruffhead turns around and kicks another one. So they're not able to penetrate that Geelong, but on the rebound, there's just plenty of Hawthorne players getting clear out on the wings. Unlike Geelong, they're playing a long way from their opponents. Mm. They're happy to give them space. And at the moment, they're honouring the leads. Bailout and that was good coaching because Crow was off with the blood rule. Osborne got it from Gillum, who got it from the man in the opposite back pocket, Guerra, as the kick comes down towards half forward. And a strong mark is taken by Brown right on the 50. Brown wasting no time. Bacon square. This has got to carry. Campbell Brown from long range. Exactly, so strong through the body for a young player. Fantastic. They get four goals from eight inside 50 entries. And the ability to crack, you're not going to get a whole lot of shots at goal, Hawthorne, but four from eight entries, four goals from eight entries, great effort. Rook takes off. Lonigan's going to go in that direction. Well done. Oh, that could be 50. Good coach and poor use of the footy. That's, uh, they've been inside 50, 17 times the catch. It should have been 18 on that occasion. And as right Lee said, that's a massive number in just a quarter of footy. Yo, yo, yo. Great kick. A really good double lead there. He let up. He went back. He pushed up. He's a huge kick because Geelong have really come back here. Guides it through. And this match is perfectly poised. He's got the foot there, but it's coming back. And there's going to be a free kick. And it's going to Williams. He's looking dangerous, wasting no time. Rioli. Well, a young man's got a big kick here. Every touch he gets, he's been quite dangerous. He's uh, been good creating space for his teammates, and now he's been good with the ball today. The youngest man on the ground. Keeps a cool head and steers it through. And yes, he's limping. Not his hamstring, no, his foot. He's in massive trouble here. Back, 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 back. Oh, just the way it went, it looked like something had shot him, and he's, he's as the, proppy as proppy. Go. Well, they're a man down at the moment in that area, although they've got oh. the numbers flooding back. After the boundary throw in, oh. Chapman. Oh. Saw it coming, Selwood. Remarkable. Bublet's in trouble. Down he goes. Strong tackle by Osborne. There has been speculation he's gone through into this game with a broken bone in his foot and he's using an injection to get through the game. Cotton's low down, made it difficult, goes back to Harley. Harley from the half-back flank, Jew, clever, stopped it, goes with the outside of the boot. Now, this could be a game-changing moment. Franklin, can he kick a goal? He's on the board. Well, there was 
was headed for the goals. Williams had a decision to make. Oh, but geez, because they're not getting that many. Stewart Jew was outstanding, man. Outstanding. Williams made the decision to take the mark. Kicks from point blank range. Had he left it to get Buddy on the board. They had this quarter, but they just haven't oh. taken their chances. Just the power here, Ox. You're talking, I mean, the power of Jew to get that mm. ball to the right spot. You'll see, you'll see it here too. Buddy, Buddy actually had really good composure. He, he saw the play there, and don't think that he wasn't in, he wasn't looking for Williams. But uh, Taylor's been brilliant on him. Renner from Blake, Bartell high, no. Saul trying to crash through. Birchill again getting another one to Lewis. They're starting to build here. Young's on the right Danger. side for him. A left footer loads it up. Franklin and Scarlett, it's going all the way. It's a goal. Can you believe it? Hawthorne's in front. To know or to see why you want to get on it all the time. An errant kick across goal just moments ago, but just when you give him some space and uh, some room on the left side of his body, he is so dangerous. Brad Sewell, the clearance there to get the ball out. Just a bulldozer. Got in there. Used the body. They got it from Sewell. Gave it to Bateman. Kick inside the forward 50. And Franklin comes up and takes the mark. So well held for so long. You could do worse than having five or six One kicks in the second half, front. all being inside Turn the 50. Down. Don't think about a short pass. Needs to go at goal here because he can light a fire under himself. The smoke is starting to rise. Hawthorne are back in front, but more importantly, the man who put them there is Bunny. All of a sudden, you've got your backs to the wall, you're being challenged to get that clearance and through Bateman, good running again. You get it inside and you counter punch. All of a sudden, Geelong start to think, well, we've worked so hard, we finally get one, and then straight away, they kick one back straight on top of us. Oh, good signs for the Hawks. Crawford. Ellis jabs it towards the middle of the ground. Jew pushing up his heart. How's that? Worth a kick. Saul's got it again. Up in. Turnovers left, right, and centre. Saul holds up in the tackle to Campbell. Little one. Crawford inside. Good. Saul on the up. Lanson's on his wrong side. He knows that. Couldn't quite get to Williams. Jim Mitchell free kick. Right, no way. To get right down to the footy, then there's a fair chance. The second right there will fall over the top of you. Well, Saul's had seven contested possessions. Four clearances and 23 touches. Gives it off to Hodge. Come the moment. Step up the man. Hodge puts them a goal in front. That's knowing your, your teammates' ability. Give it to the right person. It's and that's bad, bad defending yeah, by Geelong. Very lax by Geelong. Not what you expect from them. It's up to Jew. Good man to give it to in this position, Jew. Kicks it long and hard. Wanting the boundary line initially. And right and Rioli. Rioli brilliant here. Absolutely brilliant, Rioli. Wow. Fantastic. Oh, that's just competitive. Even when he lost his feet here, his ability to get back on it quickly was uh, on his feet quickly and impact that contest. To the run of Crawford. 305 games. He pulls it back towards the middle. Hard to move Stewie Jew in that situation. Jew inside the forward 50. We only thought about going back. Now he's got the crown. Franklin didn't take the mark, but all's well. The end's well. Okay. <laughs> on the wing was what scored this goal for the Hawks. Rioli was all on his own, forward of the ball. And uh, the ball went over his head, but he was able to crumb as good as we know he is. That's his bread and butter. And uh, his effort one on three on the wing here before was good. And that was the real power runner, the 60, 70 metre. Brad Sewell gets it inside, but Bateman's the one who just keeps running to that space. Taylor. Whoops, some indecision, Taylor. Surrounded by Hawks. Strong tackle got him down by Bateman. Hodge, Jew, kicks a goal. Oh, look out. Enormous trouble. They got away with it uh, really luckily, but what Hawthorne have been able to do is when they've had shots of goal, they've actually kicked them. 
Geelong wasted so many opportunities in the second and early parts of this term. Gee, they hurt. That's what they... juice for, isn't it? That yeah. one step, 50 metre, bang, goal. Yeah. This centre clear has really been... taken him out of the game to a certain extent. No longer a real factor. The ball inside the forward 50. Over the football, Williams digs it out. Jew once more. An unlikely bulky hero. Feeds a hand pass to Williams. He stumbles. But the ball from South Fremantle gives it back to Jew. He's in desperate trouble. Hand passes back. Williams goes in. Bounces it through. The resistance may be broken. Effort out here on the wing where he beat three of them. And it just took the wind out of the sails of Geelong. And all of a sudden, they get it inside 50, and they're dangerous. Tell you what it did. It made the Hawks believe. Yep. They, they went down and kicked the next goal. And you can see from the point that they actually believed, it looks like they've taken another gear. Ablett. Milburn. They're running out of ideas by the look of it. Franklin. Still with Buddy. Well done, Scarlett. Still with Franklin, though. Now, Jew could kick this, and he has. He's had the best five minutes of his footy life, and that includes the 0-4 grand final. Well, that's what he's there for, isn't he? Well, you would have thought if anyone was going to struggle in the hot conditions out here today, it was someone who may be carrying a little bit of weight, but not stupid, Jew. He's been unbelievable. And Clarko... Bateman is getting the free kick. It's called against Kelly. Well, he, got, he was very lucky there because... Uh, he didn't want to use Renoff, did he? Yeah, he didn't want to use Renoff. He thought he would go safe. He's right right there. There. Quickly on, Franklin. Oh, he's done it. He's done it. He's put the icing on the cake. He's made it hard now. A real effect on the game when it matters most. He hasn't got away from Scarlett that often inside 50. That was uh, just his second goal, his fourth mark, but uh, he's kicked two crucial ones when his side has needed him most. 26. Blake, Bartell, not far enough. Mitchell on. quickly goes on to the left foot. The captain's kicked the goal. It hasn't been a great day. So far, it is now for him. The contest this particular game is so brilliant because it is a team game and his contribution in the second half has been pretty good. Just three handballs at halftime. He's had eight touches since and that goal, pretty important. I think Hawthorne will be happy with this. They'll be happy now just to be able to play a bit of keepings off. Well, there's no guarantees in AFL footy. Wow. This would completely seal it. One now, that's it there. It's looking good. It's their day. yet he probably he, you would think he'd believe it but gee it's a big uphill climb from here Slung out well done Osborne broke the tackle looks up you can see a lot of possibilities Lewis the first of them should go on and kick the goal measures it rough head got it Quick ball movement. too there. strong Kays into Taylor and then came back for the, where the front of the ball was going so the big guns have kicked a goal each in the last quarter, Ruffhead and Franklin. See, the Hawks uh, players are measured and throughout this year that they were setting themselves for this occasion, as you'd expect. But they're, uh, they're not, uh, the game's not over for them. They're, um, they're staying focused and they're ready to play out this match. Buddy runs him down. Hawthorne, the champions. The long wait for Crawford over. What a team on and off the field they've turned out to be.
of 2008 to Sam Mitchell and Alistair Clarkson.